Hello and welcome, my name's Devious Gaming, and you are watching episode 32 of my Pokemon Moon Egglock. So in the last episode we took on Hapu uh, in the Grand Trial and we lost Oranguru. So I have replaced um, Oranguru with uh, Palpitoad. Um, he is now taking pride in our team, he is called Leo. And we are going to make our way through Pody Canyon in this episode, so let's get cracking. The vast canyon, I wonder what we will find ahead. What a mysterious statue, do you think it means something? Oh yes, Devious, here, take this. So we've uh, received the map survive, which we will not be using. When I, once I am ready, I'm going to come after you, Devious. I'm going to catch up to you. And when I do, I'm going to become strong enough to save my mother and Nebby too. Oh yes, but let me first make sure that Marshadow and the rest of your team are ready for battle. Being together with your favourite Pokemon is even better when they're all feeling their best. So Lily has healed us up and we are going to make our way into the vast Pony Canyon. Straight into a battle here. against a veteran Harry with his two Pokemon. And the first is Torkoal. So let's hit Torkoal with a Drain Punch. So it's just under half. We are going to get hit with a heat wave. It is a little bit too close for comfort. So I am going to switch to Squidworth. to avoid the attack. Let's hit this guy with a... Let's try putting him to sleep first. So, Hypnosis has failed us. And we get hit with a critical. Sadly, we are going to need to heal up. Heat wave. So the crit did matter. So let's try a hypnosis once again. We failed. So the drought has it now gone. So let's heal up. Take down this four coal. Heat wave not doing a lot of damage outside of the drought. And we can finally put this thing to rest. Let's hit with a side beam. We can take another hit before needing to heal, so let's hit this guy with another. Go for a superpower. As it is going to give us an attack and a defense boost. One more superpower. I should finish this thing off. We can see what veteran Harry has in the back. So we are going to switch out. But 
let's head into Leo. Making his debut against this Arcanine. We are going to get an attack drop. Well, let's hit this Arcanine with a Water Pulse. Not quite enough to finish it off, but one more will do the trick. have beaten veteran Harry. Let's quickly just heal up our Pokemon. Ready for our next encounter. Trainer. And it is Backpacker Purdy with a single Pokemon. And it is going to be a Whimsicott. So let's see if we can take this thing out with a Fire Punch. Almost finishing it off. So let's finish it off with a nice punch. And we can move on deeper into the cave. going to be our encounter for the Pony Canyon, so let's try not to kill it. Let's hit it with a nice punch. Take some sandstorm damage. Frozen, which is awesome, should make this guy easier to catch. So let's go ahead and throw some balls at this ball door and see if we can catch him. So what have we got to use? Let's go for a boring old ultra ball. There we go, we will be adding another Pokemon to our team. It may not be in this episode, but we do have the Boldor there that we can add when we get back to a Pokemon Center or a PC. a few trainers just to try and make it through Pony Canyon in this episode. There's a sturdy ability kicking in there. But sadly this is going to be a two round fight.
way through Pony Canyon. Got the Zygarde tail there. Looks like we will need to call upon our own Mudstail here to gallop across the rocks. And we've run into a Alolan Doug Trio. by the dog trio at all. And looks like Lily's caught up with us. Phew, this canyon truly is a difficult path to walk. And even make And you even make the vast pony canyon seem like nothing at all devious. Probably because we skipped a few trains. <laughs> But you know what? I've overcome my fears enough to cross even a high bridge like this one. I am not going to be afraid of heights anymore. Next time I should even be able to tackle that bridge on Mahalo Island, uh, Mahalo Trial. Watch this. This is my trial. Got a bit of Pokemon cheese as Lily con conquers her fear at crossing bridges. Phased by the male crows and run that straight past. Devious, I did it. I made it all the way across. I've cleared my trial. I completed my first trial. Amazing, right, Devious? Yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. And we are going to get healed up yet again. Don't worry, I've got you covered. I have hyper potions and revives and even lots of ethers too. Though I'm not sure I bought enough max repels for, for a path like this one. So, as she ri reminds me, I did buy some repels. So let's... Use that just so we don't keep bumping into random encounters. We can get through a little bit quicker. So it looks like we now need a champ to help us shove this boulder. Out of the way. We grab a full restore. Run round. Solving these ever so difficult puzzles. And climbing further up. And we do get caught by this trainer, which isn't a problem. We'll take him out. Anywhere for the sake of research, just like my idol, Professor Birch. So we are up against scientist Ikaki. Ikaka? He has an Alolan muck. So let's go for... A drain punch. And hope that we don't get 
lose our black belt. But one more drain punch. Should take out this nut, which it does. And let's see what his second Pokemon is going to be. And it is a Magnazone. So we will keep battling with Hood. He has a super effective Fire Punch for this Magnazone. going to be a two-hit KO. However, we do get paralyzed, so I might just heal up just to be safe. The Magnazone will be faster than us now due to the paralysis. Now I know that we are safe and can take any attack that this guy can throw at us. Unless we get fully paralysed. We are going to get hit with a Screech. Just going to drop our defence. And we get fully paralysed yet again. And now we'll get hit with a Discharge. Let's hop into the bag and we'll use that full restore that we just received to fix our Marshadow right up, get rid of the Paralysis and finish off this Magnazone. And there we have it. The Magnazone has gone down. Leo has gained a level to level 49 and would like to learn Echoed Voice. We shall be keeping our old moves. Tabeo the Honchcrow gaining a level to level 49 also. Now we can continue on. As we run into another trainer. And it is Punk Girl Anna. She has a Lowland Persian. So that should be enough to take the Persian out. And we will gain all of our life back. Thank you, Punk Girl Anna, for sending out your Persian. Squidworth gaining a level to 51, and Jason a level to level 47, and would like to learn Ice Shard. Have a look, can we replace anything? We all ha already have a priority move in Fake Out, so I am going to leave the Ice Shard. We are going to come up against a Honchcrow. Hit this thing with a super effective Thunder Punch. It turns out Punk Girl was no match for our man Hood here. Let's cross another bridge. Oh, now that's a great composition. I could paint a picture of you, a visitor to Pony. Guess I didn't introduce myself though. I'm Mina, I'm the captain. I mean, I sort of am. I actually just wander around doing my art, so I don't have an actual trial or anything. But Vast Pony Canyon sure is a wonder, huh? Once you've been through this place, you can really get to understand why that Lima boy designed his trial the way he did, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here, take this as a token of our acquaintance. And we have received the Fairy MZ. I'm the captain and all, so I've got to come up with a trial. Maybe I could 
Maybe it can, could involve painting pictures and picking flowers. Maybe a trial like that could be cool. See you later then, Alola. So we're receiving the fairy MZ and moving on. Let's have a party, a rough and tumble Pokemon party. So we are now up against Punk Guy Adam with his single Pokemon. And that is going to be a Pangoro. Could, should be able to deal with this relatively easily. And a one-hit knockout with a Drain Punch should do the trick. Hood gaining a level to level 49. And we've defeated Punk Guy Adam. like we've got a couple of train about us here that we can't skip so we will be taking on these three trainers and that's where we will probably be finishing up this episode don't forget if you want to be named after the pokemon that we caught in this episode all you have to do is answer the question of the day and today is what is your favorite pokemon in sun and moon so out of all the new Alolan forms and Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Moon, which is your favourite? All you have to do is give me an answer in the comment section down below and you will be in with a chance to be named after a Pokemon we hatch in this Let's Play. We are now going to be up against a Lapras. Let's keep battling. with a Thunder Punch. It's going to be a two-hit knockout on this Lapras. And we can move on to the next trainer. Send out House Stoutland first. We are going to get hit with an Intimidate. But a Drain Punch should put in some work here. It does heal us up to full health. We're going to get hit with a Crunch. And get a Defense Drop. Take this Stoutland down with a Thunder Punch and see what she has in store for us next. Bubbles are gaining a level to level 50 and would like to learn Mirror Coat. We will not learn Mirror Coat and we will we'll keep the moves we have. We can keep battling with Marshadow here as we have a Fire Punch and this. Left key is a steel type. That is going to be a two hit knockout. And our held item is no longer going to have an effect, which doesn't seem to have much effect anyway. Third and finally, she has a Tessarina and a 
my punch. Should be enough. It is super effective, however, it looks like it is going to be a three hit knockout for the Tessarina. And we get the burn right at the end there. One last fire punch. Trainer number two goes down. And Hood gains another level to level 50. Would like to learn close combat. We are going to keep the moves we have on our Hood. As he is doing super well, getting us through Pony Canyon. So let's just quickly heal up. Take on this third and final trainer. And this is where we will be leaving it for today. And we will finally make it to the altar of the moon in next episode. We are up against a Gramble here. And I am going to switch out. To who shall we go into? Into Squidworth. And we are going to be forced out into back into Hood. So let's hit switch it out again just in case this gramble is rocking play rough and there we go he is He's super effective on our squidworth my mistake so let's switch to leo play rough which doesn't do as much damage so let's hit a scramble with a drain punch see if we can claw back some of the health we just lost it's not very effective on the gramble we are going to now need to heal up Let's go for an acid. If we get hit with another play rough. Forcing us to heal up. Rage not doing a great deal of damage. So let's go for an Earth Power. Which hits and almost takes out the Gramble. that one more brain punch will finish the gramble off gramble giving us a little bit of trouble there but leo gaining a level to level 50 
let's keep battling. We'll have to hear them up. There's this golem. Let's use a hyper potion on Leo. Golem is going to hit with a Stealth Rocks. And I'm going to hit this thing with an Earth Power. Which is going to knock him out. Super effective Earth Power on the Golem. Everyone gaining some levels, which is wonderful. And we are now up against... Gengar, so let's keep battling. Hit another Earth Power with any luck. The Earth Power does connect, which is fantastic, and should finish this Gengar off, and it does. Going to finish off with a cloister, so I'm going to switch into hood. And hit this cloister with a thunder punch to wrap up this episode. May take more than one. Especially if the cloister is going to use protect. Spikes coming out from the Cloister. We're going to hit with another Thunder Punch. And one more Thunder Punch to finish off this Cloister. After it's finished using the text. So there we have it guys, this will be the end of the episode. If you have enjoyed this episode, please do smash that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell for all of my future content and Pokemon series on my channel. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to say ta-ta for now.